The death toll rising in Beirut, a city in ruin just a day after a massive explosion. Whoa. The blast devastating the Lebanese capital where rescue workers continue their search for survivors. A two-week state of emergency is now in effect, handing control of the city's security to the military. The move declared by Lebanon's government Wednesday through a spokesperson. And the country's cabinet instructing the military to impose house arrest on anyone involved since 2014 in the handling of the port warehouse, the site of the explosion pending an investigation. The Lebanese president promising a transparent probe says the blast was caused by some 2,700 tons of ammonium nitrate, a fertilizer and explosive stored unsafely. There are reports inspectors warned six months ago the port could blow up if the material wasn't removed. That's speechless, really. Visiting the disaster zone, Beirut's mayor estimating damages could be in the billions of dollars and rebuilding could take a year. You know, we feel so sorry for the losses that we, uh, we had. Losses in a country already reeling from an economic crisis and a surge in coronavirus infections. As a result of uh, yesterday's deadly blast, uh, free hospitals in Beirut are not functional at the moment. Two others are only partially working, uh, while other medical facilities are overwhelmed with number of uh, injured people. International aid, along with search and rescue support, now racing to Lebanon. The United Nations saying they're very worried by yet another catastrophic blow. It's an economic crisis, a financial crisis, a political crisis, a health crisis, and now this horrible explosion. The country's main grain silo destroyed in the blast, leaving Lebanon with less than a month's reserves. But Reuters reports a top official says there is enough flour to avoid a crisis. Another concern, though, the port was the main entry point for imports to feed a nation of nearly 7 million. And satellite images are giving us another look at the extensive damage to that poor area. First, here's what it looked like before the blast. Notice the sharp lines, the large gray rectangular buildings. Now a new image showing the scale of destruction. The structures wiped out water now fills the area where some of those buildings once stood. And want to give you an update. A bride was posing for photos at the time of the explosion. She and her husband, thankfully, were not hurt. The couple returning to that very site is saying they're in shock. Feel so sad about what happened to other people, uh, about what happened to Lebanon. When I, when I woke up and I saw the damage that happened to Beirut, I really, the one thing I said was, Alhamdulillah, we're still alive. Melissa Duggan, City News.